Watch you guys, today we're taking a look at the brand new Asus ZenBook Duo. This is brand new for 2024. The model number is UX8406. There is three different Intel processors to choose from. This one is the Intel Core Ultra 7 155H with 16 cores, 22 threads, with a max clock speed of 4.8 gigahertz. This model is also with 32 gigabytes of RAM. During the review, I will give you the specifications of this particular model, but there is different ones to choose from with different screen resolutions and different memory and storage. So you can check out their website once the review is finished. You do have one end open in here, which is a nice added feature for this particular laptop. So we're gonna take a look at it in more detail. As you can see, once you've got it open, it has the ErgoSense touchpad here, supports multi-touch gestures. Also, we do have the ErgoSense Quiet Keyboard uses the optimized scissor key mechanism. The sound is by Harman Kardon with the Dolby Vision Atmos. So you're going to get that real immersive sound when you're watching movies with this particular laptop. Up the top of the keyboard, as you can see, we do have the power button and the LED lights here for your battery and power button. And also, we do have that dedicated function keys right along the top of the keyboard. The easy one hand opening with these ergonomic hinges on here make it an absolute breeze to open. And as you can see, they just lift up the actual laptop when you pull the uh, screen right the way back. So let's take a look on the side of the actual laptop here. On this side, we do have two Thunderbolt 4 ports and then a USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type A port on there as well with a bit of ventilation there as well. The keyboard itself does come with its own power port there. The battery supports a 75 watt hour battery providing over 10 hours of battery life. Also the battery supports fast charging technology, just 30 minutes tops up the battery to 50% charge, which is pretty awesome. Let's quickly turn the laptop around and on this side we have two ports. We have a HDMI 2.1 port and we also have that combo audio jack there with some more ventilation on there as well. So looking on the back of the actual laptop here on the back ridge here, we can see there is ventilation and that's for the internals of the actual laptop. So when you lift the lid up here, you may think it's actually blocking, but it doesn't. It just allows it to exhale from the back here, which is quite nice. Also down on the bottom, we do have some ventilation as well uh, right here. And also there's two parts on the back here, which I'll show you as well. We have some anti-slip rubber feet here. And there's some more ventilation here as well. We do have this little integrated adjustable kickstand here. Now this adjusts from 40 degrees to 70 degrees in dual screen mode to accommodate various use scenarios that you'll want to use with this particular laptop. We'll take a look at that in more detail a little later on in a video. On the very top bezel here of the screen, we do have a camera. This is the Asus AI Sense camera up here. And that is the FHD 3D NR IR camera with ambient light and color sensor. So you should get a good enough picture from that camera. Now you may notice there's a bit of a wobble here on the screen, but during typing, the wobble doesn't seem to cause any problems. The keyboard has a 19.05 millimeters pitch with a subtle 0.3 millimeters dish shaped indentation and a 1.4 millimeter key travel enabling users to type comfortably. And I had no issues with any sort of wobbling on the screen when I was typing. The keyboard is backlit. You can change the brightness of the screen here on the function keys and change the brightness of the actual backlit keyboard as well, depending on whether you want it on or off or a lighter or darker, depending on the brightness of the room. The keyboard is a snap-on magnetic design. It's a unique Bluetooth detachable keyboard with pogo pins. The detachable keyboard of the ZenBook Duo is integrated between two screens for several practical reasons, which I'll show you a little later on in a video when we detach the keyboard and we can see the two screens and how you would use this particular laptop in quite a versatile way. Uh, so let's take a look at the actual screen itself first. One of the screens, this one here we're looking at, is a pretty nice OLED screen. It's a dual 14-inch 3K 2880 by 1800 16 by 10 aspect ratio OLED touchscreen. It's an absolute gorgeous panel for viewing uh, movies or whatever it is you want to view. It's got a 0 0.2 millisecond response time and 120 hertz refresh rate. It's also got 500 nits peak brightness with 100% DCI-P3 color gamut 
with a million to one ratio so it's a really decent panel as you would expect from asus the display has hdr true black 500 pantone validated this particular model does come with the intel arc graphics which means you can play some light gaming on this particular laptop if you wish also it does come with the sgs eye care display which means it's been certified to protect you from reduced blue light as well the Harman Kardon certified Dolby Atmos system is also with two built-in speakers with built-in array microphone as well. And if you need decent Wi-Fi, Asus have you covered with the Asus Wi-Fi Master Premium built-in dual band Wi-Fi 6E, which is going to be plenty of strength for a good Wi-Fi connection. Now, the full specs of this is Windows 11 Pro or Windows 11 Home. Comes in three different processors, Ultra 9, Ultra 7, or Ultra 5. This is the Ultra 7 model. Up to 32 gigabytes of 7,467 megahertz of LPDDDR5 X onboard memory, so that's soldered to the board. Up to 2 terabytes of PCIe 4.0 NVMe M.2 SSD. The screens come in two different flavors depending on what model you get. This is the dual 14 inch 3K 2880 x 1800. Now there is another version which is 1920 by 1200 and the other difference would be 60 hertz refresh rate compared to 120 hertz which this is the 120 hertz model. Side viewing angle is pretty good. This is on a quite acute uh, viewing angle i'm not sure you're going to be watching movies at this angle but i just wanted to show you so you can see it also the detachable keyboard is pretty easy to remove as you can see it's magnetic and it's also a full ergonomic sense keyboard and touchpad pretty sure the keyboard connects via bluetooth which is 5.2 and you just snap it into place very easily like that it's quite secure it won't move once it's in position I'll set this up and show you some different scenarios that you can use this actual laptop in. It's quite versatile and you can see here we do have two panels on here and that will make more sense once you get it set up in some of the positions that you can have this set in. And again, it depends on whether you need a dual screen, but I do think it's quite a unique design, especially if you want to use it up on end like this, you can just rotate it and the screen will automatically rotate right around here. Now, of course, you may be wondering whether you can use it like this. And of course, you could just put the keyboard into position and I'll show you that in a second. But we have the keyboard set here with the two monitors set right above each other right here, just like so. So you could have this set like this and you'll be able to uh, type on the bottom one doing a document and watch a movie on the other one. Or you can just have two windows to do two types of different things. You can have it set in the vertical position like this with the keyboard in front of it, just like I'm showing you right here. And again, the uh, panels will just rotate. These are touchscreen as well. You do have that stylus available as well for you. You can go from one panel to the other because they are actually two separate panels, as you can see here, panel one and panel two. And we could just go from one to the other, just like so. So you can set this up how you like. So maybe you're uh, type in from a document on one side and you're working on the other panel the way you like to work with two different panels it just gives you a little bit more real estate and again you can have it set up like this as well if you wanted to with the keyboard in front of it it's super useful and like I said you can just drag from one to the other in any position like so so a really decent uh, laptop which is going to give you plenty of versatility here you can see a typical example. We've got a document open on the bottom screen and we have a movie playing on the top screen. So you can see with the screen set like this, uh, the dual screen design will effectively uh, double your real estate, allowing you to reference one screen while working on another screen. This also eliminates the constant tab or window switching reducing interruptions and helping you maintain focus on the current task. Also, this laptop is equipped with a lay flat 180 degree display hinge, making it effortlessly for users to share content in business meetings or even presentations. Now, the ZenBook Duo has been designed for programmers, researchers and writers, and the built in kickstand provides the flexibility to prop the laptop up and connect to the keyboard, offering a comfortable and traditional uh, laptop style experience and again if you're looking for a dual monitor system then something like this is going to be ideal also in the box there was a power adapter with a power cable 
and also this here to sit your laptop onto if you wanted to set it up like this you can do and this just basically gives it a little bit of elevation to make typing nice and easy it's quite rigid but there's plenty of airflow coming from underneath this as well and this was also inside of the actual uh, box as well so it's very comfortable to type on in this position if you wanted to keep it in laptop format and it's just a simple little pad here that you just tuck in and it goes flat and it will go in the backpack because it come with a backpack as well and also the stylus was in there this is the actual backpack that comes in there it's quite comfortable and quite nice and robust as, as well if you wanted to put your laptop in here it's going to give it a bit of protection and if you travel quite a bit it's going to be quite useful now i'm not 100 percent sure whether you get all of this when you purchase this particular device i'm pretty sure you do because it come in one single box the stylus come within that box as well uh, but do check before you purchase to make sure that all of this is included in the bundle and it's not an optional extra we also get the my asus one-stop portal for asus software as you can see here there is everything in here to help you monitor what's going on with your laptop you can see we've got battery we've got cpu load we've got memory you've also got your hard disk in here you can contact asus from inside here with the customer support you've got the user center you've got the system diagnostics inside here as well there is also a system updates that you can carry out from inside here the message center as well there's quite a bit inside here you've got all your options that you can mess around with to do with your power and performance battery saving and things like that to do with your oled screen for protection and also to make sure the oled is in uh, good working order and maintenance you can do all from here as well so everything is inside the uh, my asus uh, software and no one does it better than asus when it comes to that particular type of software I just want to quickly check video playback here and you can see Jellyfish 400 Mbps, 4K Ultra HD, HEVC 10-bit file. You can see it's silky smooth. It plays this file no problems at all and I can drag this across here and it should have no trouble at all. It's instantly playing that file and this will be great for movies if you want to uh, watch TV shows on here or maybe you want to do some gaming on here, you're going to be able to do some games on this particular laptop as well. No problem whatsoever. I also wanted to uh, do some other benchmarks and tests just to show you some of the stats here. Let's check the reads and writes. The reads are 5,253. Also the writes are 4,696. And that is a Western Digital Drive. And also we'll take a look at the Cinebench uh, benchmarks here the cpu multi-core is 9648 points and a single core is 1320 points and that is the intel uh, core ultra 7155h 16 cores 22 threads at 3 gigahertz and this model is the 32 gigabyte of ram version on the bottom here you can see we do have this control panel where you can basically make changes here you can see the keyboard here uh, Bluetooth you can change all of your settings from here let me zoom in here so you can take a closer look you've got your display for brightness wallpaper themes you've got your control center to customize uh, control center and this will give you full control of all your settings inside this settings panel here let's go back here like I said you've got app switcher uh, control center let's go into control center here and this is to customize control center and you can also see inside here, you've got all of your uh, settings you can mess around with inside here. I'm not going to go through all of this too much. This uh, laptop has got so much stuff to go through. I would be here for literally hours going through all of the settings and stuff that this laptop has to offer. So I'm going to go back here and you can see main screen and second screen on here as well. You can control the brightness from here. And this is your task group here and your virtual input for control panel, quick key, handwriting, and so on. And you've got your microphone on and off here, your lock screen. You also have your Dolby uh, settings inside here where you can control this for Dolby Atmos, for music, movies, game, and also dynamic. Depending on what you want to set yours to, you can have voice there as well. And you can even set up some custom ones inside here. Also on the Dolby Vision here, we can set up bright, dark, or vivid depending on how you want to set yours up. 
And let me just quickly show you the number key because you can bring that up. Let me go back into the task group here. Because the keyboard doesn't have a number keypad on it and you want to use that on this uh, particular laptop, you just push on this one here and it will bring this up onto the screen right here. And you can then use this uh, on your laptop. So pretty useful. Uh, so I've got so many things on this laptop that I can show you, but like the stylus as well, that's just another video all by itself. So let me know in the comments section below what you think of the brand new Asus ZenBook Duo 2024 version UX8406. I'll be interested to read your comments what you actually think of this particular model. I actually think it's quite good. I've been using it for a while and I am, I'm absolutely blown away. I don't know what the price is right now because obviously it was under embargo and I couldn't say anything until now. But other than that, as soon as I find out, I'll leave a link in the video description. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I shall catch you in the very next video. Bye for now.